Hi guys and welcome to Tournament Management System Develop in Python. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how this works. Here we have uh, four teams in total and on each team we have five contestants. Okay, so I'm going to just reset the whole process so that you see how each contestant score are added. I'm going to click on reset. So you can always say no, you don't want to reset. No, yes, you can reset. So let's add the first contestants, and that is it. And you can see as soon as you add, you get their total score there. The same thing applies to the second one here. Okay, guys, so that is how it works. And so on you can see that this guy is actually this team team number two is actually winning or leading now okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you guys straight into python development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that and just for your information this is at a request of one of my viewers out there All right let's do that but before that, just this point below, those are the winning points. Point one, two, and three. So let's reset. Yeah. Exit out. Yes. And that's it. Let's click on exit. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is to start with a new project entirely but first of all we need to import the following let's just say import that is going to be from tkinter rtk then we also need to import let's say from tkinter import it all import let's import message box for now Okay, now finally, I'm also going to say from ticking tile, let's import TTK. Let's just say TTK. Good. Now, I'm going to create a class, and this class I might as well just call it tournament. There we go, tournament and tournaments taking the following argument tk dot tk. You notice this is lowercase and this is in uppercase. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is to define our let's say define space space initialize the following and that is going to be self now i'm going to be using super a super function that will return a temporary storage for me there let's say super function dot initialize let's just say Okay, now that that is set, I'm going to set the following. Let's set geometry. I'm going to say self dot geometry. I'm just going to make that for mine. For the width and so on. Let's say about maybe 1,400. Okay, by I'm going to make that about 860. There we go. So that's the size of my system. There now, let me define minimum size and max maximum size as well. So this is going to be for the minimum and the maximum. There we go. So here I'm just going to say set dot minimum size. and for the maximum size as well 
we're going to say max size there we go that's nice so the next thing i want to do now is let me also add the title so the title i'll just say self dot title and i'll call that uh, tournament scoring system or tournament management system okay tournament management system that is going to be the name of my title but before i go any further i might as well just save this thing so that i don't end up with an error so let's just call it tournament system or tournament app that would do save all right so i might as well just run this up and try it out i want to see the size so i'm going to come down here using an if statement if underscore underscore name and the name in this case is going to be underscore underscore equals equals let's say main underscore underscore main underscore underscore there and my app name is comments that you're looking at here app equals ornament enter parentheses then i'm going to come down here and just say app dot main loop there we go there but before i can do anything i notice you see here that's supposed to be uppercase t and lowercase k there there we go and here as well i made a mistake here because i copied it across so that shouldn't be there this should be comma there okay that's how you create your minimum and you use the same method for maximum as well there we go okay so I'm going to try that out now. Let's hope I don't have any more errors. So I'm going to come here, let's save it. Now click on run. There we go. That is my form ready. All right, so let's exit out. Okay, I'm going to now initialize some points that I intend to use. So let's just say that is going to be self dot points. That is going to be for the score. And these points, I might as well put it in an array, and that's going to be 25, comma, we can say 18, comma, and 15. So that is taken care of. All right, so I'm now going to also create some variables to store the scores and total. So let's first of all start by just saying self dot. So that's going to be for the first one, first dot t. Let's say t1, that's for team one. And I'm going to call this team one score. Team one score that is going to be tk dot string variable and that is going to take in the value of zero there we go and i'm just going to enter zero in there and let's use four whatever is in the it should be in the range of five yeah there's uh, five in there so that is for team one okay because there's an error here this should be bracket there all right so that's the very first one i'm going to just copy this since i have four teams in total so i'll just change it around 
There we go. Repeat the same thing here. So let's just change the names here. That that is going to be four, three, two. Okay, team one, two, three, four. All right, and the value for them is five each. Five uh, contestants in there. Okay then. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to now create another one for the total so for the total underneath so i'm just going to maybe just copy one of these i'll copy all of this and change name round yeah and delete what i don't need paste and this one is going to become team total That's total. And I really don't need this anymore, so get rid of that. That is, I'm now declaring the variables that we actually store the totals. There we go. Yeah, I think it's right, there's no error. Okay, now the next thing is the variable that we actually store this, or let's say the entry, entry feed for the customers, okay? Entry feed for the customers, so self.txt, so let's create that and I'll call them individually. So let's come down here. I'll call that uh, self dot txt point point one as equals. Let's just grab all of all of these. Paste it in there. And the score for point one, as you can see, is 25. So I'm going to enter 25 there. Let's copy this. So that's for point number two and three. Change this to two, three. And this would be 15. And this is 18. Okay, looking good so far. I might as well just do one thing now. Let's come in here and just uh, um, create my font. So for the font, let's add that underneath here. So it's going to be self dot fonts. No, for this, let's specify that of the Tie to first self dot tie to underscore font that is gonna be equals I'm going to call that area comma I'm gonna make it five about forty comma and also make it bold there we go right now the next thing is for the components let's just copy this i'm going to be using different font size or every single component so this is going to be components let's just enter component from there component font maybe make the size about 14 yeah, 14 bold. Very good. All right, then. So I'm now going to start work with the widgets. But before I do that, let me save this and just run it 
before I start to work with the widget, I just want to be sure that it's working here yeah, very good. There's no error, and we still have a form. Or we still have a form. Okay, so let's start to work with the widget. First of all, I'm going to create the widget object here, just called ourself. Let's create underscore widget. Yeah, that would do. We do. Okay, so this is my widget here now. I'm going to call that widget. Let's come in here and just say define the following. And that is going to be self. Now, create a title for me. So I'm going to call that T. Okay, let's just call it I2 underscore label. That's going to be equals TK dot label. That's the widget. And this is going to be inside self. And what do we have in there? This is the title. So this is the title that you will see up here. But this is going to be the title that will be displayed up here. So let's come in right here and just say text. That is equals that. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to grab hold of my title here. The that is it for my fonts. So the font in this case is already defined. All I just need to do is to specify font is going to be equals that. Okay, you can do it like that if you want, and you can do it the other way around. So let's run this up now. Let's come right down here and then say. Title itself is going to be dots. I want you to get it hugged. And let's put a padding of about 20. There we go. And make sure it's saved. Okay, now let's try this out. I need to maintain enter comma there, else there will be an error. So let's go back in here, run. We have to save it first, though. There we go. Look at that. That's my title. Okay. You can. And one other thing you can do is, you see, instead of just calling your variable that you've already created here, if you like, you can just copy all of this. Whatever title you want. The choice is yours. So those are two different ways of getting that sorted. Okay. So I'm going to run that as well. There we go. You get that, guys, right? So that's another way out, okay? So you can leave it like this, or you can just copy this. The choice is yours. All right, that's taken care of. Now I need to start create, start work with some frames. So okay, first of all, let's create a frame to hold all of the team score and I want it to be side by side I will also create another frame okay for the yeah let's create that to the team first let's come down here let's just say frame and that is gonna be equals tk dot frame and that is going to be self. Now I'm going to get it packed. Frame dot path. On what size that is going to be? X axis. I'm going to make that 100. Y axis. I'm going to make that equal zero. Oh. Let's, let's put one there for now. 
you can always change it around. Then I would like you to get filled on both sides equals both. Then get it expand, that's going to be equals true. Close that. All right, first one is taken care of. Not was for PDs and just call it point underscore frame. It's for the, the frames for the points. And you will say points with an S. Okay, and there now, get it part as well. Dot pack, we can just make that. I'll get rid of this. Um, so dot pack that is going to be y axis. I'm going to make that about 10. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to create my widget for the points. Let's say tk dot label, and that's going to be for the points here. Dump that in there. Comma. And I also want you to display a text, and that text is just going to be points one. Close that out. Then let's grab all of this self dot component. That's the font. The comma there. Have the font in there that's supposed to be font equals that equals self dot components right dot breed so the first one is going to be rule equals zero and column is going to be zero. and strictly to the east equals the row first one is done then I also want the text box that will be displayed okay let's see hopefully this should work oh let's see what did I do wrong there hold on I did not enter a value for my column. That should have been zero. Yeah. I'm going to save that and run it. Let's say I should be able to see the label. Move this up. Here we go. Look at the label. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's for number one. Now close that. And I also need to add a label. No, a text box, not a label text box so side it is going to be text entry no it's called entry it's not it's called entry entry it's going to be here and it's going to grab all of the text variable yeah text variable And this text variable is point one, this very one up here. So dot point one equals that. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Come on. Let's make the width a little bit small. I'm gonna make that about five. 
comma and fonts. Is that in there? The font is going to be the same. And let's just grab all of all of these. But I'll then make these to the west. Yeah. W. Okay. So I'm going to run it. Yes, let's see how that looks like. Hopefully. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. What's column should be one. Let's change this column to one. Because I copied it. That's why. That's one. Now run. There we go, guys. Look at that. Okay. See that? All right. That's fine. So I can just copy this now. All right. I have three different points. That's point number one. So, like I said, I can always. I'm just experimenting. Okay, that's fine. Make sure you call each of the variable that I declared up, the, up there. Alright. So that's where the value is. So now run. There we go. Look at that. See that? Yeah, I guess you guys can see it. That is fine. So with that for now, I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial. And I'll see you guys shortly.